lot of students that leave the course feel just feel empowered and you know, that they can they can do anything they can tackle anything out of that feeling of empowerment as they become more creative they'll probably be showing me ways to use the 3d printers that i never thought of My name is Janelle Azor. I am currently studying at the University of Baltimore um, simulation and digital entertainment, so mainly games, interfaces, all of that. And I've always wanted to learn animation. The students who come into the class seem to have an interest in what they know, what they're familiar with. They're interested in Pixar videos, they're interested in animation. And when they leave the class in the last few semesters, they walk away with a knowledge set in terms of how to capture data with 3D models, and also how to render the data so that it can be used not only for uh, animation purposes, but also for, for physical space. There's a lot of creative problem solving and, and some math, some engineering, little bits of everything. And, uh, well, they've done a lot of things that are intimidating and they've gone through a lot of experiences that they've never had before and they've, they've done really well. At first, I did architecture and for many years, Good. and I did not like it. I took the 3D modeling and animation class and we ended up learning 3D printing and I didn't know if I wanted to stay or not, and then I ended up doing it. Janelle was very engaged with the work. When it came to rendering models, structuring models, repairing models, she was ready to accept those challenges. She found ways of, of making very large 3D prints with very small work envelopes, and she created visually interesting works. I want my students to see their world differently. I want them to think of possibility that they never thought about before. And then in the problem solving that comes from that seeing, the what ifs, the possibilities that are out there, that's what's important and that's what they should come out with. I want to, in the future, have my own animation studio. But uh, now that I have acquired the skill of 3D printing, I want to, in my immediate goals, I want to get a job that would use that 3D printing, interface uh, development, gaming, all of that. There's, there is an inherent set of tools that are, are at the ready for them. Um, and they can apply that to a variety of, of industries, whether it's architecture, landscape architecture, urban design, planning, uh, working with engineers in terms of, of engineering models for automotives, aeronautics, um, civil engineering. It can be something that affects day-to-day um, -day life, or it can be something that, that influences the personal aesthetic of the individual uh, who purchases that object. And I don't know where they're going to go. Some of them will follow careers in art. Others, as they move along, may find other things that, um, that intrigue them and they want to go forward with. But I know for a fact, if they've had art, it will never be lost. It will always be integrated into whatever they choose to do. It's a way of thinking, a way of seeing your world.